Door Hardware Nerds is uh, proudly sponsoring a nacho bar at NGA mm. the last day, the main event, uh, which I think is brilliant marketing, by the way, Andrew. I don't know if you came up with that, but like having the main event on the last day keeps everyone there. You know, usually last days of these trade shows uh, are a little ghost towny because everyone's like flying out or they're. Oh, um, yeah. And so maybe I, maybe or... tumbleweeds would be on theme for <laughs> the, the Western <laughs> gimmick. Uh, yeah, that was totally the concept. We started it for the very first time last year, which I think was your first class build, Benji. Um, so we did the tailgate party, a big barbecue outside. And that's really just, you know, we've all been working our butts off for probably months leading up to the show for exhibitors and attendees. Um, it's busy at the show between doing business on the floor, the education, the presentations, plus the receptions. And so just give people a reason to kind of just let their hair down and also stick around for Day three. And as you mentioned, yeah, day three, historically, for any trade show I've ever been to in my 20 year tenure of doing anything in construction, it's always ghost town. And so trying to give people a reason to stick around and also just kind of uh, as a thank you to the attendees and the exhibitors. And so a uh, big thank you to DHN for sponsoring. I think it's certainly going to add to the fun. We can ride bowls, drink beer and also eat nachos now. Let's talk glass build all together. So yeah. October 31st through November 2nd in Atlanta. Right. Where can you get tickets? Glossbuild.com. You can go there, register. Um, we have promo codes. You can reach out to DHN. You can reach out to me. We'll hook you up with a promo code um, for free admission to the show. You just got to get yourself there and get a hotel. But yeah, if you right. come, um, stay for the rodeo. It's going to be fun. The, the, the tailgate was a blast last year. Really good way to to just end the show on a high note that's a little bit more relaxed um less less business and just have a have a good time amongst your peers and even your competitors everyone is just in a good space headwise and having fun i have to say it was a fantastic networking event as well i met probably 15 people that i didn't meet throughout the entire trip like in that last um little uh event so it was it was it was a fantastic networking opportunity for me personally. Oh yeah, no, it was it was awesome. Save for um, it got pretty toasty there. Yeah, wearing a business coat, but uh, this year the rodeo's inside, so AC baby. <laughs> <laughs> so the rodeo itself, um, it just takes place. It overlaps the last hour of the show as people are already kind of winding down and heading out. It's just you can't leave the convention center floor without seeing the rodeo, and so it's a nice little pit stop on your way out. Whether you're going back to the hotel for the next night out, or if you got to get to the airport, uh, super convenient. There's a, uh, there's going to be music. There's going to be nacho bar, uh, margarita stands, uh, mechanical bull riding. want to clarify for Benji's sake, uh, calf roping. There'll be, uh, some cornhole. Oh, there's a punching machine, which will be fun. So all the kind of fun stuff that we liked, uh, as kids or that we like as adult kids that don't get to do in a business setting so um there'll be music games and it's just really designed to just be a fun time you can uh buy tickets uh when you register for the show it's 10 bucks uh we don't keep that money that goes directly to the nonprofit nga foundation that that feeds our education resources for glazers fabricators for the industry so it's a token it's a nice gesture there's it's it's all good feels and so you're running out of reasons not to show up if you're going to be in atlanta and that's yeah. just the end of it. The show itself is is stacked. Like, I mean, Glass Build is the main reason to go. Um, this is the biggest footprint we've ever had. We have over, I think we're, we just cracked 480 exhibitors and attendance mm -hmm. is flowing. Like as much as we're talking about Dallas in 2024, um, in shoot, it's going to be three weeks and some change in Atlanta. It's going to be pretty, pretty wild. Um, lots of exhibitors more than ever. And the attendance is, is looking solid too. So um, for anyone that has a business need or just wants to interact, get new prospects or see what your competitors are doing, there, there's, that's really the place to be. I mean, it's, there's not really a stronger three days you could find in the calendar. I say that as, I mean, obviously I'm the show organizer, so I'm biased, but I was a former exhibitor, a former member, and I've gone as uh, just a free agent just on my own so I've, I've seen it from pretty much every angle and it's i do it every year um no matter what yeah for for those in like the security industry side of our 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 side of business like this is like the isc west 
of the glass and glazing industry. It is huge. Like I, it's last year, my mind was blown because of how large and how long the exhibit hall was. <laughs> I was like, I feel like I didn't, I was walking for days and still didn't get to the end. Um, and so many cool products and features and people. It was the the my biggest takeaway was just the the the, the open arms of the the glass nerds that welcomed me into the fold <laughs> as a honorary glass nerd, uh, even though I knew nothing about glass. <laughs> Well, I offered you protection for the first year. This year, you're on your own, buddy. Um, <laughs> no, Hope you made great, lots of contacts. In a really, everyone's in a really good mindset there. It's very collaborative, and just everyone's happy to be there. Um, yeah, it can be sprawling and maybe intimidating for, for a first-timer. I mean, it's just massive. Um, so, I mean, if you can only make it a day, walk fast. Um, but you could yeah. really, really spend all two and a half days and still not see everything. So plan accordingly and you guys you have the exhibitor map already up on the website so uh anybody oh yeah can see start, who's start gonna be planning there? it now you can you yeah. can bookmark your exhibitors you want to see um but just start making a track i mean me i i always like to and if i'm at a show that's not mine i mean i'll be all over scattershot um but it's uh i think the more pre-planning you can do but um i always just go serpentine up and down every aisle uh but there's plenty to see it just depends on your business needs um, but you can sort exhibitors by product type. And so if you have a X amount or a finite amount of time, you can really prioritize your stops and plan ahead. Benji, you're going to be there, right? I'll be there. And square Word on the street is that Mia might show up. I, you know, I'm an international man of mystery. I, <laughs> I've got to keep it under wraps if I'll be there or not. <laughs> so think Mia should go? Maybe. I, I think... Uh, I think uh, comment below if you want uh, Mia to go. Yeah. Uh, if I do get there, it'll be my first show uh, since we started at DHN. So I've actually never done a public appearance for DHN. So we'll see. We'll see. I hope I get to make it. Um, it is in my calendar. And so. Can okay. you tell us anything about what Ass Abloy is uh, hoping to accomplish at the show? Ooh, I know we've got a larger booth this year. Um, we Ooh. are exhibiting a couple of uh, new products, especially with locking hardware for, um, you know, the glazing industry in general. So a lot of aluminum storefront options and then uh, frameless glass hardware has always been a kick for us Abloy um, just because, you know, it's a it's a growing trend. I don't know if it's a trend because architects just keep on specifying more and more frameless glass. And from the security side of things, that makes me cringe a little bit because glass can be very difficult to secure. And so we've got a couple of uh, of uh, insightful products that uh, um, and solutions that help resolve those frameless glass doors. So um, you'll have to drop by. A great showing and a good smattering of products for for this specific niche for the heavy glass side, you know, the Herc doors or what have you, um, whether it's panics or um, center locks. So you guys have a lot of... Uh, a lot of solutions. Yeah. So you have to come drop by the Asable booth and uh, say hello to me as well. I'll be there. Um, and uh, yeah, come check out what's new and latest and greatest.